So we're going to talk about understanding gold and fake gold, okay? What fake gold it consists of, what it looks like, how to detect it. I usually do an acid test to see if gold is real, okay? That's on the fly, that you could do that very, very quickly. And in one of my videos, we could um, understand exactly how that works. But here we're going to have a different type of example. Take a look at this ring. It's somebody that uh, somebody brought to me that said, is this real? Kind of looked real when I saw it. All right, uh, initially, it even got a stamp on the back. Take a look, if you can see it. All right, it has a stamp on the back. What is this ring actually made of? Well, these are the metals right here when we took it to the metal uh, refinery, all right? So you take a look and read the page, you know, there's a note from uh, one of my employees here that uh, mentioned uh, exactly what, what's going on. This ring is made out of 79% uh, copper and 10% uh, uh, zinc. Okay, when you mix copper and zinc, you get a yellowish metal, all right? So gold in 14 carat, usually in yellow gold, has copper and zinc in it uh, because it still maintains the yellow, but then of course it has that 57% pure gold. This particular case, these are all the metals found in this, uh, this piece. It even has lead, 4.9%. That makes this, to me, toxic. I don't want to be around lead. I don't want it uh you know it's a toxic metal so this is a piece of garbage as it turns out okay it, you could even consider it uh poison all right it's got 1.48 percent iron and it's got 0.45 percent actinium i don't even know what that is but it has a pretty high atomic number all right that's what this is so i don't know i, I can i'm not a, a physicist but i think it's uh, however many protons or or you know electrons something has i don't know what the atomic number actually is but the reality is that this is not real gold and this is the best way to understand this type of metal okay so we want to understand this is pure gold this is what it looks like this is a one ounce bar in a frame that we made, but you gotta remember something this, right? This ring is very, very light. That's why it kind of tells the story that it's not gold for the volume, all right? But maybe it could have been real gold with a hollow space inside. It's hard to tell and with a solid back. So you can't always tell by weight. Well, this I could tell is real gold by the ounce, but guess what? They make these ounces with gold covering and still fake because the metal tungsten is about the same weight as gold so the fakers they make these beautiful pamp bars uh, the swiss pamp bars filled with tungsten and by the time it's time to melt it and cash it in you drill in and you got fake gold inside that's why i only work with the proper dealers it's a very dangerous market i would never want anybody to buy an ounce of gold and then find out leave it in their safe for 10 years and find out there's tungsten inside that would be devastating to them so be careful who you do business with and um, uh, we make sure that we do everything correctly. That's why I'm educating you here. If you're in New York and you want to get your gold tested, here's a free ad for these people and a free service for you. 58 West 47th Street, booth 45. Okay, that's right next door to us. So you get your gold tested, you'll be able to see what's going on. In the meanwhile, you know, highly recommended this piece, this piece of the 14 karat gold frame. So the 14 karat gold frame has copper and zinc in it as well as an alloy, but not in the percentages that this has, where the copper is 79.68%, the copper in this particular piece would probably be around uh, 15% or 20% or something like that, with 57% being pure gold. So now you learned a lot more about how the metals are working and how to prevent yourself from being trapped in this situation. And remember, wearing fake, fake gold, you know, lead, once it gets into your bloodstream, it wreaks havoc in there and it, you know, it gives you mental retardation in certain cir uh, circumstances. So you want to stay away from garbage metals, okay? It might look cool, but uh, me personally, I got to get rid of this. So thanks for watching and, you know, shop for gold chains at tracksmyc.com.